Well, it's harvest season, and you've got a lot of cucumbers. You've already given some to friends and family. You've already eaten them in your salads. You've eaten them raw. What are you going to do with the rest of them? How are you going to preserve them? Well, I'm here to tell you how to make your very own refrigerator dills, and they are delicious. Let's go! So, what are you going to need? You're going to need cucumbers. Not the waxy kind at the, from the store. Use your own homegrown ones. You're going to need salt. Do you have to use Himalayan pink salt? No! But are you fancy? Yes. Obviously, you're going to need some mason jars. You're going to need sugar, fresh dill, some red peppercorns, coriander seeds, whole black peppercorns, and a love. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your brine ready. I use a two to one ratio water to white distilled vinegar. I'm going to make a pretty big batch here. So we're gonna add four cups of water and two cups of vinegar. There's the water and there's the vinegar. Next up, we do a three to two ratio of salt to sugar. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of sea salt. One, two, three. They're pretty heaping. Two. Two tablespoons of sugar. One, two, and a little bit more for good luck. Now you're gonna to wanna to use a stainless steel pot or anything but aluminum. You don't wanna use aluminum because the vinegar and the aluminum will create a chemical reaction and it'll, your pickles will end up tasting like metal. And also there's gonna be a little bit more water added at the end. I'll show you why. Okay, we've established a rolling boil. Everything's dissolved. We're gonna take it right off of that heat, set it aside, let it cool down. Okay, here's a striker tip just for you. If you're impatient and you don't want to wait for your brine to cool down, just do this. Just throw some ice cubes in there. It'll cool down before you know it. I forgot to tell you about the garlic in the ingredients section. Very important, the garlic. I like to do the garlic right over top of the garbage. So you gotta get all this excess off. Now we're looking, we're gonna be using a lot of cloves of garlic here. I like garlic. And in each jar, we're gonna put whole cloves and some cloves that are all cut up. And the whole cloves are more for looks, and the ones that are cut up are for the taste. Because if you just put whole cloves in there, you're gonna run into some problems. Here's how I do it. Chop off the end, chop off the other end, and if you're using them in cooking, what you do is you put a flat knife over it and then you bash it down and it'll come off, the skin will come off really easily. But since I'm going for looks for some of these, I'm gonna be real gentle and careful with it. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do, after you washed your cucumber, cut the ends off. And depending on what size jar you're using, measure it out. So it looks like we went about halfway, so about right there. Let's see here. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna slice off another tiny little piece off the bottom. Now with these extra pieces that you're cutting off, you can use them to make, if you don't drop them on the ground, you can use them to make chips, dill pickle chips. So now what you do, I'm gonna cut this thing in half. Just like that. Oh yeah, beautiful. And cut it in half again. Cut it in half again. And at this point, you can figure out how big you want your spears. And it also depends on how big your cucumber was. This was an enormous cucumber. 
one of the biggest ones I've ever grown. So these are huge spears. I'm gonna just cut it again, some of them, make them a little smaller, make a couple of them a little bit smaller because you know, every once in a while you need a smaller one just to fit that very last one into the jar. So you want these jars to be full. That's for sure. You want to maximize your space. This is a huge one. We'll put it in there if it'll fit. Okay, filling the jar. Well, you got your fresh dill. Put some dill in there. Are you a dilly, dilly kind of guy? You like a lot of dill or a little bit of dill? I'm gonna put a lot of dill in there. We're gonna put a sprinkle of red pepper flakes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. These make it look fancy and we're all about fancy. I'm gonna put one whole garlic clove in there and then a handful of the minced garlic. The minced garlic is key, brings out that extra flavor. A little bit of dill seed, just a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like about, about that much is fine. Plenty, plenty. Black peppercorns. That's plenty. Coriander. I'm just sprinkle some in there. Good to go. Now we can look at all that goodness in there. Oh, let's give it a smell. Oh yeah. Oh, one last thing. Don't want to forget the secret recipe. A little bit of old style mustard with the seeds. Just a little. You only need about that much. Pop that down in there because it's strong. Woo! It's really strong. Okay, now we fill it full of spears. You want know, some, and if it's too tall, if the pickle's too tall, if it's above the brim, you can cut a little bit off. And with the pieces that you cut off, I'll show you what you can do with those. There we go. You just throw these in a jar with slices, spears, uh, whole pickle, however you want to do it. It's all good. This is not rocket science. It doesn't have to be exact. It's gonna taste good. You're gonna really enjoy the flavor of your pickles. Let's pull, throw a big one in there. Oh yeah. Gonna have to chop these just a bit just to get them to fit. And there's no problem, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that part of it. And flip some upside down, flip them all around. There we go, we got some room left in there. Remember how I was telling you sometimes you want some thin ones? Let's get a nice thin one right there. It's a little baby. You can fit, you can fit there. We can certainly fit another. A couple thin slices. See if you can't fit. They're getting awfully tight. You don't want them too tight, but you do want to maximize the space. Can I fit another one? I see room right there. A little too tall? No problem. Not anymore. There we go. Now they are right about to that brim. Okay. Next step, we're gonna pour our brine on top. Okay, as for filling. This is the last step. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can put a handy dandy little funnel. It's a canning funnel. They have these at all the stores. You can put a funnel in there and pour it in there. But I like to use this. It's like a baster. You, here I'll show you. Pretty much just fill it up. And go like that. If that's too slow for you, there's another way to do it. Let me show you this trick. Scoop down in there. A measuring cup. She's a measuring cup. It's way quicker to do it this way. You don't even need the funnel. Pour some on top. Make sure it covers the whole thing. And the last trick is I'll let the bubbles out if you can. So these are really tight, but 
Move them around. Let them bubble. Put your thing in there, move it around. You can already tell bubbles came up. You're gonna need some more brine. Just like so. Pour it in. Grab your lid. Pop it on top. Put it in the fridge for a day and guess what? You're gonna have the best taste in pickles you ever had. Make sure to give it a little mix, okay? Get the bottom stuff. There we go. Get it floating all the way to the top. See that? Mix it up real nice in there. Yeah, look at all that goodness floating around in there. It's gonna give it a very delectable flavor. All right, thanks for watching. Pickling with Striker. I will catch you later.